play The Joke by Brandy Carlisle. We're in standard tuning, no capo. We have a G chord, a D chord, an A minor chord. Those are the chords you need to know if you're a beginner. And if you're advanced and you want to add in a little extra, we have a G minor and a F sharp major chord. So if you already know how to play those chords, go ahead and skip ahead. Otherwise, I'm going to show you how to play those real quickly here. So for our D chord, you're going to have your index finger on the second fret of the G string. That's your third string up. One, two, three. <clears throat> and on the second fret, your middle finger is going to be on the second fret of the high E. It's your topmost string. And your ring finger will be on your third fret of your B string. And you're going to play four strings. So you're not going to be playing the low E and the A. Just these four strings. It's your D chord. For your G chord, your ring finger is going to go on the third fret of the high E. Your middle finger goes on the third fret of the low E. And your index finger goes on the second fret of the A. That's your second string down. You can play all six strings. For your A minor, your index finger will go on the first fret of the B. That's your second string up. One, two. Your middle finger is going to go on the second fret of the D string and your ring finger gets tucked right under on the second fret of the G. And we play all our strings except for our low E string. So just those five strings. So those are the three main chords. If you're a beginner, don't worry about these bar chords. Um, but if you are interested in playing the bar chords, your G minor, you're going to bar your third fret and your ring finger and pinky are going to form that E minor up on the 5th fret on the A and the D strings. And then we have our index finger barring our 2nd fret, and we have our E shape for our F sharp major chord. But like I said, if you're a beginner, don't worry about how to play those. Um, so now let's jump into the progression. So we start on a D chord. Jump to an A minor chord. to a G chord and back to a D and our strumming goes down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. That's all there is to it. So that's the progression that's played throughout the song. If you're a beginner, you can get away with just playing that throughout the entire song. If you're advanced, there's some things we can do here to embellish the song. So we, it's very similar, but I'll show you what changes here. So we'll go from our D chord to our A minor chord to our G chord. G minor chord. So if you're advanced, you'll notice it's probably easier to just go to your G chord, barring it on the third fret with your E shape here, and then just drop your middle finger. And that's not it, so then the next progression it'll go D. Instead of this A minor, we're going to go to our F sharp. We'll slide up to our G. Release our middle finger for our G minor. And then come back to our D. So let me play through that variation once through here.
that's all there is to it. So that will be it for this tutorial. I did go through that kind of quickly. So if you have questions, feel free to comment below. As always, if you enjoy my content, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.